What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you three things to help you be a better guitar player today. Let's go. Alright guys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how to make the fretboard a little bit more manageable and less intimidating. When you look at the fretboard, it seems like it's huge. Like it goes on forever. And I guess it kind of does in some ways. But what we want to do is we want to minimize the effort to get from one note to the next. For instance, like playing an octave. So we have our open E. And then we want to get to the 12th fret E. This is an octave. Right? Now, what we could do is we could go through every note. Right? We could do that. But I think it would be easier to try to make this less of an effort. Could be cool, but most of the time, it's not. Here's what we want to do. Remember that game you used to play when you were a kid? The floor is lava! Ah! And you would climb on everything and your mom would yell at you and you'd get in a lot of trouble. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to play a game that's similar to that. It's called The Fifth Fret is Lava. Don't touch it. Don't go there. I wanted you to use your four little grubby digits to place on the first four frets. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to make everything smaller. Instead of having to go from here to there to get to those notes, we're going to bring this into a much smaller space. We're going to play five notes, including that open note, but we're not going to play the fifth fret. And here's why. That note is A. And what's the note for the second string? Also A. So doesn't it make more sense to not keep continuing to waste energy playing up the fretboard this way when we can start to utilize the other strings we have going that way instead? Let's try this. Bind these things together. We're gonna get to that high E. And all we're doing is playing every note in between. So much less effort to get to that position than it did this way. And you can tie this together with everything. Say I wanna go two octaves now, so and get to that note. Well, what note is that also? It happens to be the high E from the sixth string. So, how do we do that? When you're learning guitar, and you're trying to understand all these things that are happening, the best way to keep things manageable is to keep them in one place. The next thing I'd like to talk about is patterns. I think this is something that a lot of guitar players, especially in the beginning phases of learning the guitar, take for granted. The thing about guitar and the thing about music in general is it's all sort of a group of patterns. And one special thing with the guitar is that basically once you know a pattern, it can apply in more than one place. So once you learn, say, for instance, a chord, sometimes that chord can be played anywhere. For instance, a bar chord. What we know is E major, the same pattern can become F, F sharp, G, and so on. So basically, once you know F, you know all of the chords in some way, you know, at least the bar chords. Now, of course, there's other positions and there's other variations of chords, but this is a quick and easy way to get around that. So once you know one pattern, you know them all. Same thing applies for scale. Say, for instance, the major scale, the E major scale. I know that scale. Now I take that same exact pattern and move it down a whole step, and I have... I have the D major scale. So basically, now I have all of the scales because I know one. One pattern is easily transferable across the entire fretboard. Super nice. 
And lastly, tip number three, this is especially for the beginners, patience. Patience, patience, patience. In fact, this is more of the three Ps than even practice, practice, practice. Patience. It's not gonna happen overnight. Don't get discouraged. Don't beat yourself up. If you don't get it today, you might get it tomorrow. So just try it again. Pick the guitar back up, give it a try, run through what you were trying to work on. Patience. Don't allow yourself to get bogged down with negativity over trying to accomplish something that you just can't. You have to work these muscles out, you have to work these muscles out, and you have to work these muscles out. There's a lot that goes into playing guitar, there's a lot that goes into making music, and none of it happens overnight. So give it time, and it will happen, I promise. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If it was helpful for you at all, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Ah! What? There's a microphone here. Can you see this mic? Hallelujah! Stupid. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace! I'm out of here.